sitting here editing on my computer. It kind of just froze up for a second. Because I, I wanted to get my computer stuff done before I head to Costco. I always kind of like to know that my work is done. And Pat, I'm reading your comment right now. Uh, you're funny. Um, yes, we do panic going through the car wash. I, I just, anyway, it is what it is. Oh, what was I saying? So I'm texting with all my friends. We have like this little mini group of um, friends that all are into watching um, like British film. And so we're watching The Crown right now. I'm in season three and it's just, and I just realized, I think I was one episode in to season three and I was like, these characters don't look familiar and yet she's still the queen and he's still, <laughs> I was like, what happened? So I was texting them all this morning and I was like, did I miss something? Because sometimes when I'm sitting here working on my computer and, and doing my phone, I I'm listening or I'm wa I'm reading the subtitles and stuff and I know who the characters are so I kind of know what's happening and some shows are slower than others so I can keep up with it pretty well doing it that way but <laughs> I just hadn't really like made a mental note of who the actors were and so I texted my friends and I was like did the actors change from season two to season three in the crown or am I losing my mind and she was like oh yeah they all changed <laughs> I was like okay because I saw a photograph of one of the little boys when he was, you know, like the queen's husband. Is that right? Yeah, the queen's husband when he was little. And I was like, yes, that's, that's when he was little in season two, at, you know, at the school. And I was like, but that's not him, like as an adult. Anyway, I was so confused. I hate when actors, like when they have to change it. Yes. Your call starts in exactly five minutes, which is when you should be getting on. Are you done with your reading? I have almost. Ah, good job. But you're not quite done with your reading. Yeah. Okay. Go get on your call, and when you're done with your call, you bet. I bet you're gonna have a little bit of extra time to get it done before you go to recess. Yes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. And then guess what? What? You probably won't have any homework until Monday. Mm -hmm. It's Wednesday. So have that motivate you to get that reading done before recess. Mm -hmm. Because she probably won't give you any homework after recess because that's just closing meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Get on your call. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, I was here editing and I realized if I hurry and go to Costco now, I have to, oh, I gotta get my list actually. This is what I do. I just take a photo of my cute notebook so I don't have to take it out. But I'm gonna hurry and go to Costco before all the other moms are done helping their kids do homeschool, like before actual school, virtual school gets out. So I can kind of beat the crowds today. Jason called me earlier and he was like, hey, um, is there anything I can do to help, you know, lift your burden today, which I thought that was really nice. And I'm gonna, any of you like hang out in the house in sweatpants <laughs> and sweatshirts, and then when you have to go in public, you have a pair of pants sitting next to you. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do really quick. But he was like, hey, can I, you know, is there anything I can do on my way home to lighten your burden, pick anything up? And I said, if I wanted to be mean, I would make you go to Costco today at six o'clock the night before Thanksgiving. That would be me if I was mean. Now, I'll make him go if I forget something, but I'm, I'm not going to forget. I've got my list. I also need to go to the grocery store and I might go to the dollar store to get a few things. Maybe go shopping for Christmas presents because I've got the extra time and I don't I am not I don't think anyone should do Black Friday shopping in stores because it's just not safe so I've done a bulk order on Amazon and the shipments are starting to come in so I'm doing really good on Christmas stuff I'm babbling let's go start running our errands You know, it's a good day when you find a parking spot at Costco the second you pull into the parking lot. It's a good sign. Now the trick is going to be to stay six feet away from everyone if there are major crowds in there. Wish me luck. Going in. We came in and Ashley's acting all guilty. No, Josie. <laughs> she was. <laughs> she was laughing. <laughs> no, she was over there and she was like talking. <laughs> we were like counting down because she couldn't 
and I heard you on the wall. Hey, be on the floor. And then she said, I uh, thought three, and she did five. And then she had three. And right as you walked up, it I ran. <laughs> she ran. I don't ever understand anything that you're saying. Whatever. All right. We just went to the dollar store. You're not eating all the snacks. They have this whole huge bag of Teddy Grahams oh, in two different flavors. Look, a whole, that size at the grocery store would be like $3. This and it's like this full. It's this so, full. So I got you guys some blow pops to they? just oh, give to your friends is, when you go out to play. Like, just for fun. Because their families give you snacks and stuff, right? Yeah. Right. And then I thought we could like take these little gift bags at Christmas time and make a little gift pack for your friends. There's 15 in here. I think there's about 12 or 12 or 13 of you, right? All right, so I went to the store to get these. So what we're going to do is we're going to make all these little holiday cards, and then we're going to take them to the retirement home that's near us because they can't have their family come visit them, right? So what we're going to do as many cards as we can. I'm going to write a little message on them, and then we drop it off to the front office. Right? So I got this one right here. Little happy holidays. We kind of try to go generic in case we have multiple, you know, beliefs. Sweet tidings and season's greetings. And I can't decide if what one is my favorite. I kind of, I like the sweet tidings. They're all really cute. So, so that was kind of something I thought that they would enjoy working on. Maybe on Sunday, you guys can work on that. I got Kaylee's beloved chicken ramen. Ramen, because we only have beef. I have a beef with Costco doing the multi-pack. Can you just do one or the other? Because the beef is not good, but it's a good deal to get it from Costco. So that's my thing. Okay, but you guys want to help me make banana bread or do you want to go play? Me eat banana bread. I've got all these bananas that my friend gave me. So we're going to make banana bread. Get me a bowl, Ash. Let's put you guys down and you can help us. Yep, get a bowl and I'm going to get the mixer. Can you get the paddle, the little whiskers? Like, uh, I think we need like that size. Grab that. And watch your head. And I've got these guys. Um, I gotta get my recipe out really quick. Okay, now we I need- I don't know how to open them. You don't know how to open nasty bananas? Well, I don't know. These are the perfect bananas for banana bread though. So, we need five of them. Then you go get the garbage for me. Okay, keep on two. What's the potato's favorite game? What is, Abby's telling jokes. What is the potato's favorite game? What? What? Hashtag. Hashtag. That one doesn't feel so great. Let's see. Uh, uh, I don't, that's that's fine. Make money and wor what can make honey and words? I don't know. What can make honey and words? Yeah. One more. A spelling bee. A spelling bee. It's a pretty good one. Wait, are you just be looking up jokes? They're on. No, it's on my oh. Okay, just set that one over there. Got our bananas. Weird. Cause all of this one's the only good one. Yeah. Well, good to eat eat, but these yeah. are perfect for baking. Mm -hmm. Fifty-five minute timer. Fifty-five minutes starting now. All right. Next up, well, I already have a sweaty face from masks and hand washing dishes. My my pan that I <laughs> pulled out for the bread. I have two silicone pans, and they've obviously been in that cupboard for a while because I had to hand wash them. <laughs> so I only use one of them. So I'm just going to wash the other one by hand. But while I have a steamy face, one of the things I hate worst on like the actual holiday that if I'm baking is to do my potatoes. Oh, 
I can't stand to have a, ste have a steamy face from boiled potatoes and mashing them and all that kind of stuff on the day of. So I do baked, twice baked mashed potatoes. I'm going to heal them, boil them, mash them. You add butter. If I have cream cheese, I'm gonna add cream cheese. I do this every holiday. Well, every winter holiday, I should say. And then put it into a cake pan and then I can just put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow when we're about an hour out from dinner, I'll put it in the oven, warm it up, top it with some butter at the very end and let that melt and you're good to go to add gravy. So I'm gonna get my potatoes going right now so I don't have to do it tomorrow. And we're gonna have breakfast for dinner. I got some French toast sticks from the store on our way home today. And we're gonna have that and some orange juice and banana bread and some fruit. I think I have oranges and apples. And I think that's it. We're gonna make an easy dinner for tonight. And then have a nice dinner tomorrow. Oh, also, <laughs> you wanna see our turkey, AKA our rotisserie chicken? <laughs> I'm not doing a turkey. I'm just gonna cut off two pieces of this chicken breast for Jason and I tomorrow because because no one else likes turkey. So I'm not cooking one. We're gonna have, so chicken, potatoes, vegetable. I like to make cottage cheese jello, and then pumpkin pie, rolls. Where do my rolls go? Maybe they're out in the garage. And then the cottage cheese jello. Then I have some cranberry ginger ale, and we also have like bubbly, but I think I might save the bubbly for like New Year's or Christmas and we'll just do the cranberry ginger ale for Thanksgiving. So that's gonna be our simple dinner tomorrow, but I'm gonna get some of this prep work done now. Our potatoes are done and I made a ton. <laughs> yeah. Right, Ash? But I just texted Grandpa and told him he can come and get some tomorrow along with our stuffing. And maybe we should give him a slice of pumpkin pie. Think Daddy will share? Nope. Oh jeez. You're not gonna share with your own dad? He will. So we'll share with Grandpa. He, he shouldn't be eating pumpkin pie. He shouldn't, but he will he? No, we don't want to give it to him. Okay. All right. And then our banana bread. That's why she's sitting. Mm -hmm. Ashley's sitting here because she wants yeah. banana bread. Right? Mm -hmm. So get a plate down. Did you like the French toast sticks that we had for dinner? Yeah. They're pretty good. All right. Let's get a knife out. Yeah, we want our breakfast for dinner. We do. Okay. okay. If this is any good. Here you go. I'd say that turned out pretty good. Smells delicious. You made it. Is it good? Good job, kiddo. Pretty good. So we just got a package from Daddy, right? Yeah. We ordered new shoes for you. Boots. New boots. The shoes are on their way. I think they're really cute. So we ordered Keen. Um, we don't, since we own a shoe store, we can just add a kid account for most of our shoe lines. If they have a shoe, a kid line, Keen and Merrill and Chaco. There's a couple other ones that have kid lines. So we got her new boots and I like them. Right? Waterproof shoes. Yeah. These so ones are for snow and stuff. And I actually get snow we get soon. snow like it's once like, or twice a winter. Since it gets like. 30, sometimes even in its 20s at night. Yep. Yeah. And in the day, it's pretty much just 40 or 50. Yeah. So those are going to work good. Show them the inside. Take one of them off and show them the inside. Oh, they are. Wow. Are they lined? Ooh, cozy. A little bit, but like farther down, there's like kind of this. Part. Yeah. That keeps you dry. All right. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Yours are coming, Ash. Yeah. You both got a pair of the same ones for the shoes. These feel weird. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So my sweaty face is exactly what I wanted to avoid tomorrow. So I'm gonna go shower. Thank you, Jace, for cleaning the pans. 
I also don't want to be behind on dishes. We're going through at least a load and a half of dishes every single day now, and it's driving me nuts. Oh, Dad got the Jello for me. Cool. This is in the fridge then. Yep. Strawberry Jello. That's for tomorrow. We're all set. We'll make this tomorrow and put it in the fridge for the afternoon. And we'll let Grandpa know when he can come and enjoy our Thanksgiving. Come on to Daddy. Put that down below. All right, you guys. This is going up well after Thanksgiving, so I just hope you had a good Thanksgiving, and we will see you guys next time. Good night.